They're like literally up under me. Right there. Got him. I watched him wake it and then eat it. him come up behind it and I slowed it down a little bit and felt him eat this guy might be 27 28 man what's going on salt strong nation it's Matt Matt and the yak and I'm back with a really quick tip for you guys this is going to be a good one because it's actually about something that everybody wants to know about everybody wants to know how to catch bigger fish and now that we're in the fall right now with these cooler temperatures Catching bigger fish is easier than ever because these fish are on the move and they're constantly looking for food as they start getting ready to go into their winter pattern when their metabolism slows down. So right now in the fall, they're definitely looking to eat a lot more and those bigger fish are going to be consuming more calories and there's a way to catch these bigger fish and I'm going to share you some of these secrets right now. Schooled up right here. I can see them. I'm looking at them. Waiting on one of them to hit this leprechaun bomber, just like that. There we go. That's it, just like that. On the Alabama leprechaun bomber, y'all. Smoked it right in that school. Now, if you're looking to catch the biggest redfish out of a school, a few things have to line up for you. Number one, you have to be in the right location. Of course, you have to be in the right place. You have to be where the fish are going to be. And a lot of that has to do with the right tide and the right timing in the right time of day. And another thing that has to line up is you have to have the right presentation and the right bait. You have to have the right presentation for the right fish. Uh, if you're looking to target the biggest redfish in a school, you definitely need to be using the right bait and presentation to target that larger fish. And the last thing that you need to do uh, to target, say, the biggest redfish out of a school or the biggest fish out of any school is one last thing. And I'm going to share that with you at the end. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and dive right on with the first thing, and that's going to be location. So let's talk about that first. Now, when it comes to location, you definitely want to be at the right spot. Now, during the fall, these fish are going to be moving a lot, and they're going to be moving a lot with the tide. So knowing where these fish are going to be has a lot to do with understanding the ambush points with these fall patterns. These fish are going to be looking for warmth uh, as that tide starts to rise and as the sun starts to come up. Temperatures are cooler overnight and they're going to be warm during the day. So these fish are going to be looking for those warmer waters when that sun starts to come up. Now, a good way to know where some of these places are is our new Smart Fishing Spots app. This app actually tells you the best time and the best places to fish throughout a day based on the conditions of that day that you're looking to fish. Not only that, our Smart Fishing Spots app has different layers in it that can show you oyster beds that are underwater water as well as submerged seagrass. Those are absolute game changers for you when you're looking to make your pre-trip plan to go to target these fish because you know these fish are going to move in these zones where there's good structure, good current flow, and there's good ambush points for them to be able to feed on this bait. And our Smart Fishing Spots app is a great way to find these places as it can give you the best time to target those places throughout the day. During the fall pattern, when it comes to location, another thing you want to look for is bait. If you aren't seeing bait, then you're probably not going to find those fish you're looking for. As you'll see in the footage, there was a school of mullet hanging around the school of redfish that I was able to target. That school of redfish was hanging around that mullet because that's almost like a moving buffet for them. So these fish are going to hang out with the bait. If you're not seeing uh, large schools of bait or a lot of bait presence in that area, chances are you're not going to find those large schools of fish. 
Now, talking about bait, that actually leads me into the second thing that has to line up for you to target these larger fish, and that's your bait and your presentation. Your bait has to be the right size. In all of this footage where I've caught all of these bull redfish and even a 28-inch trout, all of my bait size was a 5-inch paddle tail, and it was actually one of the proprietary lures here at Salt Strong, and this one right here is the Fred Bomber paddle tail you'll see it is a uh, pink pedal tail it is a five inch option and it's actually rigged on one of our uh, Haas helix hooks that we have here at salt strong and I've actually caught that bull redfish on this lure to actually win a tournament and I was able to do that with this exact presentation you see right here this allowed me to have ultimate action with this lure as you can see it has a lot of good wobble there so when it's coming through the water it was able to attract those fish with a lot of really good vibrations now i've also had some really really solid success with the slam shady bomber as well as the gold digger bomber and the ala bomber all of these have actually caught me really large fish out of schools uh, and it was all with the exact same presentation on this Haas Helix hook. Now, we do have all of these options available at our online tackle shop at fishstrong.com. If you're interested in picking up any of these options, they are available at our online tackle shop at fishstrong.com. Keep in mind, our insider members do save 20% or more on all of their fishing tackle in our shop. So keep in mind that is a perk of being an insider member. Not only that, they do have unlimited access to our Smart Fishing Spots app. That is also a perk of being a member of our insider community. So not only do you get discounts on all your tackle, but you get unlimited access to the best saltwater fishing app out there right now. Something else I want to let you guys know that if you do find a color that works really well for you, I do like the Fred color option. But if you find a color that works really well for you, you can go ahead and buy the 100 pack options. Buying them in bulk like the 100 pack option you see here, you do actually save money on the uh, bulk option so that's also an option available to you as well so again these baits the bomber profile whether it be the ala bomber right here the slam shady bomber the fred bomber or even the gold digger bomber bigger baits are a great option to throw when you're looking to target those bigger fish especially now in this fall pattern when there's a lot of large bait out on the flats so you want to be targeting places where there is bait and you want to be throwing large bait so that you can present a larger meal to these fish as they're trying to consume more calories in this fall pattern. Now, as I said, all of these bombers that I have here in front of me are rigged up on this Haas Helix hook. This actually is one of the hook options we have here at Salt Strong, and they're actually a great option for keeping your bait weedless, but also uh, having a wide enough gap for a really good hookup. As you were able to see in the footage, I had a really good fish there, and I needed to make sure I had a good hook set. And the wide gap on these hooks allowed me to do that and maintain control of that fish during the entire fight. Now, these Haas Helix hooks also do a really great job with these baits of keeping great action. These baits look really great under the water rigged on these hooks. So the fish actually are dialed in on the bait and not anything extra that's uh, maybe drawing attention away from how the bait could look naturally. And it needs to look natural because these big fish aren't going to bite something that's not looking natural. And that leads us to our third point. When targeting big fish, something else is very important. And I'm going to go ahead and share that with you now. It's scent. Scent is super, super important when you're targeting big fish. And the reason that is, is because, again, big fish are smart fish. And smart fish feed a lot more heavily on their olfactory senses. That means they use their nose, per se, to actually feed a lot more. So if something doesn't smell right, they're not going to eat it at all. So you need to make sure that your bait not only doesn't smell off-putting to these fish, but you need to make it smell appetizing to them if you can. Now, what I always use is the Dr. Juice exclusive inshore saltwater slam scent. 
that we have here at Salt Strong. This is available at our tackle shop at fishstrong.com. And uh, I can say that I do not go uh, on the water without this. This is actually the main ingredient for all of the fish I catch. I do have a lot of really good success on the water and I can tell you that it is in no part a coincidence that I use the doctor juice on every trip. I actually put a few drops in every bag that I have so that all of my baits are ready to go with the doctor juice on it as soon as they come out of my bag. Now I will reapply on the water occasionally and as it so happened when I reapplied on the water this day right as I applied I was able to spot the school of redfish and actually pull the biggest one out of the school so when you're targeting those bigger fish you definitely want to be using scent because that's super important as these big fish again smart fish are going to be using their smell especially when they're looking to feed so if something doesn't smell right they're not going to eat it so uh, the Dr. Juice scent is a great way to ensure that those fish not only will actually actively turn on your bait but they'll go to bite it and when they bite it they make sure they get the whole thing in their mouth because they're fully committed. The scent can be the difference between a fish hitting your lure and actually eating your lure and as you were able to see in the footage this bull redfish was able to fully commit to my lure and that's no doubt because I was using the scent right here. Now something else that I did uh, as you were able to see in the footage I did slow that bait down some when I saw that fish turning on the lure I made sure I slowed it down long enough for that fish to catch up to the lure and eat. That's another thing that's important. I did have the lure on a steady retrieve pretty quick through that school so that I could allow that big fish to catch up to my retrieve. I knew those slower fish were going to be the smaller fish and the fast fish was the big fish. So that was another thing that I was able to do to make sure that I did target that larger redfish. Now, if you are interested in some more awesome inshore saltwater fishing tips, be sure to like and subscribe to this video or check us out at saltstrong.com for more awesome saltwater fishing tips. There is a fishing tips page section there filled with a bunch of amazing fishing tips catered just to make you a better inshore angler. So be sure to head over there and check us out for a lot of more fishing tips. And if you're interested in becoming an insider member where you can save a lot of money on your tackle and have exclusive access to the fishing tips page section and our smart fishing spots app along with all of our fishing courses that are designed to help make you a better angler you can always find information about all of that at saltstrong.com and if you have any questions for me about this video or about any of the tackle i was using in this video be sure to let me know about that down in the comments section below. And as always, we appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're going to help you catch more fish, not only with fishing tips and in-depth courses, but also our new smart fishing spot tap. That actually tells you exactly where the fish will be as well as the best times of day to fish there. Plus so much more. You'll also save tons of money with tackle discounts and make tons of new fishing friends in the insider community so thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the insider community soon